Last week I received a call from a scammer claiming to be from Microsoft. According to him, if I paid him $400 through PayPal, he would rid my computer of viruses. After a long conversation, I got him to give me his email address so that I could send him a screen capture of my computer. Basically, I told him I was having an error. Instead of sending him a screen capture though, I sent him a magical program that sent me a picture of his computer, prompting him to freak out. How do you know my name? Tell me right now. So it turns out my scammer's name was Suraj and not Marshall like he claimed to be. After I posted the video on YouTube, I decided to send it to him via an email to see what his reaction would be. Subject, hey boo. Why'd you hang up on me? I'm gonna have to send Microsoft a strong worded letter for this travesty you call customer service. Hey, check out this video. Take down that video right now. You are invading my personal privacy and I will contact YouTube. You will go to jail. Oh yeah? You gonna you get the YouTube police to arrest me? Try again. Why should I take down the video? I suggest you keep in mind who you're talking to and why you're keeping things in mind. Add the fact that you're not in any position to demand a fucking thing. I'll contact the appropriate authorities if you do not. You have one hour, I'll be checking for the immediate removal of video. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to log into your scam PayPal account and I'm going to refund everyone you've scammed. Then I'm going to log into your Facebook and I'm going to set your world on fire because I read your inbox. You know the messages I'm talking about. I'm going to forward them to everyone. Everyone you care about and you think respects you is going to know about your little secrets, the scamming and that other little thing. Do take care, Siraj. Been a darling correspondent. P.S. Don't bother changing the passwords to anything because it won't stop me. It's important for me to mention that I didn't actually have the passwords to his PayPal or his Facebook. But I figured everybody's got secrets. And if I pretend to know what's going on with him in his life, maybe I can trick him into admitting something. And sure enough, he fell for it. Hook, line, and sinker. Okay, okay. No, no, no. Wait. Don't do that, please, sir. Leave Ayada out of this, okay? She is innocent. You can leave the video up. I won't tell anyone anything. Just leave me alone, okay? Please. All right, Saraj. I won't spill the proverbial beans regarding the secret involving Yada. I'm willing to let you redeem yourself under two conditions. You have to refund everyone yourself, and you have to make an apology video. You give me one hour, so I'll give you the same courtesy. Do not disappoint me. I'll be watching you. Yes, yes. Okay, right away. Thank you. Okay, I refund everyone from last month. As you can see, funds changed from previous months, and I cannot recover. Here is a apology video. The problem is I got a little too excited too quickly and I posted about it on my page. That's a huge tactical mistake. Whoa. And then he put a link to the post I put on my page. Why do I do this? You have nothing. Fuck you, Jose. Fuck you at your buck. I shouldn't have posted our combo so quickly. But after your display of ineptitude, I believe it was limitless. Well played. Also, what the hell? Way to take down the video. It was awesome. I don't normally delight in watching pathetic people beg, but considering how you make a living, this feels pretty good. So I'm going to call this a win. Look forward to seeing you again. This is not the end, Siraj. I'm coming for you. Immediately after that, I got an email that said, Congratulations, you won a free music player with unlimited iTunes downloads. Well, I traced the email address and it actually came to me from the same IP address as Siraj's email, so it was obviously Siraj. It looked like the iTunes player actually connected right to his IP address. When a Trojan affects your computer, it establishes a connection with a hacker's computer, which in turn lets the hacker computer send commands to the Trojan. Things like, send me a screen capture, give me all the cache passwords. It gives a hacker percent control of your computer. I put the Trojan inside of a virtual machine so that it could only harm the virtual machine, but not my actual computer. Then I wrote a program to intercept the uh, inbound and outbound traffic of the Trojan. Before the Trojan could or send any data, it first had to go through the interceptor. Then it would go to Siraj's server. And that's a two-way street. So even on the way back, it would have to go through the interceptor before it could actually get my Trojan. So this gave me a unique perspective because I noticed yes, Siraj kept sending a get screen cap command instructing the Trojan to take a picture of the computer and then it would try and send it back. It was at this point that I did my interceptor to swap out the picture of the virtual machine with the picture of a penis. How big a penis, you ask? 850 megabytes big. And we did this continuous loop, uh, sending huge, huge penises to Siraj's server until the server itself stopped responding. And I think it's the first time in history that a server has crashed due to penises. Now, I have no idea what his reaction to that was, but I imagine it was something like this. Why does it say pepper jam when there is no pepper jam? So I wrote him immediately. Hey, you know that endless buffet of dicks you ordered? Well, we're having some trouble delivering them. It appears the host is unreachable. You have computer problems or something? Tell you what, I'm just going to leave them on the porch for you.
You were not okay, please leave me alone now. I have to wipe my server and start from scratch. You have my sincere word, I won't try anything again. Oh my god, why did server crash? I'll tell you what. For one time PayPal fee of four hundred dollars, I'll leave you alone. You couldn't handle the space, you know perfectly well, and thanks to you my PayPal account is empty. No apology video. You win, okay, please. Couldn't handle the space of what? Come on, say it. It couldn't handle your penis because it was too big. I'm done. This is no more emails. If you keep coming after me, I'll just delete it. And you won't find me. Man, man, please, I ask you, consider leave me alone. The video, Siraj, or this doesn't stop. You cannot hide from me. I want the video.